I'm originally from Romania, but I've moved to the UK to study here. I was considering other universities in the UK, but I chose Portsmouth because the course that I'm currently taking, film production, is one of the best in the UK actually. It had mostly a practical film production course, like on-hand experience with cameras, with editing, with everything you need as a film producer. Because at home I didn't have the opportunity to uh, study this course at this level and it was an opportunity for me to study what I love. Moving away from home was really really tough initially but the university gave us the needed support to be away from home, be alone in a new country. Like from the second year, third year now, it's really like a second home. I think people here are very open to international students. It's quite a diverse university. I've had a shoot last year, in my second year, uh, near Reading. It was a one-week shoot where I lived on the set and also worked on the set. So we were like 14 people in a house trying to make a film. I was actually the only international student there and I felt very welcome. They appreciated me for my skill and uh, I felt very comfortable with them and uh, they're still some of my best friends to this day now. One of the biggest challenges of living as an international student in Portsmouth is obviously being far away from home. It's not that easy to just hop on a plane and go, go to see family and friends, but you might find the circle of friends that will stay Christmas or New Year's and you can have probably one of the best Christmas or New Year's of your life. So one advice I'd give other international students that want to come to the University of Portsmouth is to just network with people more here, meet more friends and just be talkative because at the end of the day it's something that I've avoided doing in my first year but found the value of it in my second year, not only for my course but also for myself and uh, it just made the whole university experience way, way better.